Hello everyone, my name is Ed Diaz and in this video we're going to show how to load MIDI files from a computer into the Phantom S. First thing we need to do is make sure our USB cables are plugged into the Phantom S and your computer. So let's plug them in now. Now that the USB cable is plugged into the Phantom S and the computer, please follow along. First, press the menu button. Now let's use the cursor buttons and let's cursor down to USB. Once we have USB selected, press the enter button. Now let's press F3 or 3 to select internal memory. Now that the Phantom S is connected, let's look over at my computer and we can see Phantom S user. There's two different folders available. We're going to go inside the Roland folder. Now let's go inside the sequence folder right here. Now let's go inside the song folder. So right away you see that I have two songs inside the Phantom S at this time. They are both SVQ files. This is a Roland format. So let me move my window over a little bit. And you see here I already have a MIDI file prepared for you. So I'll go ahead and select this. And I'm just going to drag and drop it inside that song folder. Now that it's dropped inside the folder, I'm going to go ahead and eject the Phantom S from my computer. Now that I've ejected the Phantom S from my computer, now I will eject at the Phantom S by pressing the exit button. Let's press exit one more time, and we can press here in F8, or we can press right here. Now that we've done that, let's put the Phantom S in performance mode. So I'm going to press the performance button right here, and I'm going to go ahead and use preset 01 sequence template. Now I will go ahead and press sequencer, and you see I already have a song here. Let's go ahead and load the new song. So I'll go ahead and press F1 for song list. Now you see right here I have a new song file right here, Ed's MIDI. That's the file we dragged in when we had the Phantom S uh, USB to the computer. So let's go ahead and press F8 to load. And it's asking me, am I sure? Because this is going to clear whatever internal song is up right now. So if you have a song you've been working on, please make sure that you save it before you do this action. So now let's press F8 to execute. And if we look here, it brought in the standard MIDI file, but it only loaded in as one track. And I believe I made this one about four or five tracks. So here's how to have it expand. So I'm going to go to track edit by pressing F8. And I'm going to go to the extract button using my cursors. Make sure I'm on extract. Now I'll press F8 to select. And I'm going to tell it it's extracting track one, because that's where all my MIDI data is. And it's going to destination track, track all. OK, so let's go ahead and execute F8. And I am sure. And if we look now, now I have all of my data. Now, uh, I believe this track was done at a tempo of 106, and it happens to be there, so that's cool. If your MIDI track isn't, remember, you can always press the tempo button right here, and you can adjust it to what that MIDI file is supposed to be. Now, remember, a MIDI file might not save the sounds, or there will be different sounds. So I might have to go in here and change my sounds. So let's see what I have right now. Not quite what I was looking for. So let's go ahead and change some sounds. So I have track 2, 3, 4, and 10. So let's go ahead and go to Mixer. I know on uh, track 2, or part 2, I actually like to have, I put a bass there. So I cursed it over to part 2, press the patch list, and let's go ahead and choose a bass sound. So I'll go ahead and choose maybe a compressed J bass. F8 to select, or if I want to hear it, press the preview button. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and select that. And now let's 
go ahead and cursor to part three. And I believe I had an electric piano here, so we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and use uh, maybe the stage roads. Let's preview it by pressing F7. <laughs> Sounds good. Press F8. Uh, let me see, I can't remember what I had next. Okay, we have something in number four. So let's go back to mixer, and I believe I had a string. And let's go ahead and load in a string very quickly. And let's preview it by pressing F7. Sounds good. And now let's go ahead and cursor over to my drums. Let's hear what I have in here by pressing F1 patch list. I think on this one, we'll try this hip hop in Latin. Let's see how that works. Okay, great. So I have just loaded in the new sounds for it. Let's go back to my sequence, or I could have just pressed play from here. And now I'll press the play button. And here's the play button right here. So as you see, I loaded in a MIDI file, I extracted all the parts so they went to where they're supposed to go in their natural parts. I did have to change the sounds, but that's going to happen in any type of uh, workstation type of keyboard you use. You're going to have to do that, and even in computers, you're going to have to go ahead and put the sounds that you want. So now if I wanted to save this inside the Phantom and put it in this Phantom format, which is SVQ, all I have to do now is I just have to press the Save Load button right here. and it's automatically went to save as a standard MIDI file because that's what it is. I want to save it in the Roland format SVQ, so I'll go ahead and cursor up and put save the internal song only. Now, if I have samples on it or I plan to put samples, that's cool. I could, I could go ahead and just save it as internal song, but once I have audio samples, I would have to save song and samples. That'll save everything together. So I'm just going to save this one as a song. So let's go ahead and press the enter button. And I can name it whatever I want. I'll just leave it the same name. Let's press F8 to write. And let's go ahead and save. Great. So now it's been saved. So in essence, it's been saved to the Roland format, which allows it to save the sounds of the Phantom S to that particular file. So let's look back in our song list by pressing F1. And we see we have the MIDI and there's the version, which is the SVQ file. And so now we're ready to pretty much rock and roll. We can just kind of play. So I hope this helps you out. Please make sure and check back for more videos.